these are the reasons you have not been able to make money online you, why you have not been able to make money online and how to turn it around that's the topic of this podcast when i started online business 15 years ago i had limited information i didn't really know exactly how i was going to succeed i knew i had a plan i knew i had a service but i didn't know how to go about it i was fresh out of the confusion of not having a job and i knew that okay this thing i do as a hobby i can actually make money from it that's all i knew and i didn't even have the tools at the time i didn't have a laptop for somebody who wanted to do an online business and also provide a service that was also digital based which was my book editing services after all of those times till now by way of hindsight i can tell you for free that what you have is enough everybody on earth has something good something valuable to give that they can monetize but the problem is how many people can build real online businesses that they can make money from from the thing that they already know they can do very few right it's very difficult for a lot of people for some people they start out and then imposter syndrome sets in which is something i even call in you know, creative people's problem right so you feel like, like you're not good enough you keep second guessing yourself so you don't you don't maintain the consistency and the drive that you need anyway i'm going to get you into knowing exactly why that is happening a lot of people by the way struggle with this and are still going to struggle with this and that's why i'm making this podcast if you've not been able to successfully monetize your expertise, your skill, or whatever. These are the reasons. Number one is because you still do not understand the value that that knowledge you have and that expertise you have has. If you understand the value, you will not waste a minute to start it. You're recognizing the worth and the worth of what you have to bring to what they mean to other people is what will help you understand the value that you have to place on it. If you know how desperate people are, how disadvantaged people are going to become when they are not able to get the solution that you carry, then you'll be able to give it the value that it deserves. That's number one. Number two, you are used to rendering that service for free. That's another reason why you're not making money from it, of course. Because you don't see how to switch your brain from saying, don't worry about it, I will do it, and to a point where you cannot charge real money that will make you really wealthy doing that same thing you start feeling guilty you start feeling like oh my god am i not being too you know greedy you know i should help this person you start imagining that 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 person doesn't have anything you know if they don't have anything why are they asking for your services right apart from you they pay for every other thing that they ask for so why is it your turn and you think that they can't pay because you're rendering it for free for so long you cannot monetize it. That happened to me as well. All through my secondary school, university days, I was editing books for people for free because I felt personally responsible for errors in people's work. I felt that, oh, if I see a book that had grammatical errors that were responsible for them, I should have met the author. I should have helped him or her to get this book ready before they had spent the money to, to print it. I mean, <laughs> it was crazy, right? Now, the third one, why you can't make money is that you think that nobody will pay for your services so you already are your own economic coordinator you are the one that knows that in spite of the world of abundance you don't understand it you think that oh everybody is your client number one so those who are coming to you they don't look like people that can pay you so you use them as a yardstick to copy and paste on your clientele base and that is so wrong anybody who cannot pay for your services is not your ideal client right i'm going to do another video to address this but right now that is one of the reasons why you can make money. Another reason why you are not able to make money is that you don't know how to package this thing that you do, this thing that comes to you naturally, this thing that people are always asking you to help them do for free. You don't know how to package it as a service or a product that people will be willing to pay for. You feel it's complicated. How do people even do these things? So you see people create online courses, ebooks, write books about it, create webinars, conferences around their ideas, and you marvel and wonder, oh my god, this looks so complicated. How can I start? That's another reason why you're not making money. So if you're in any of these five categories I already showed you, then there are things I need you to do. Number one, if you are ready to monetize, identify the problem that you have a solution for. What exactly can you do? And what do you know how to do to help create the solution for that? Do you understand? Number two, 
you have to come to a point where you understand who you are providing the solutions for or who you should be providing this solution for. It shouldn't be all these people that are asking you for free. It might be part of them, but they need to come around sometime. But you need to go out and get fresh people who need the solution that you have and they need it desperately and they can pay anything for it. Understand the people who your solution is suited for, best suited for. Like I said, people who your solution is best suited for are people who have a hunger and a desperation for the solution you carry and they are also willing to pay anything to get that service, right? We call them your target market. Number three, find the right platform, location or place to sell your solution. So whether it's an online like I do, if it's an online business, then find which platform exactly online should I start with? Should I start with Instagram? Should I start on YouTube? Like I'm doing this on YouTube for obvious reasons, right? So I want to wear my content will always be evergreen. Posterity will always find it and I can still always monetize it. Now, so find the right platform for you. I would encourage you to use YouTube as well. And of course, an email service so that you can get your subscribers into your email link and all that. And on, the fourth thing I will, I will advise you to do is use social media as well to be able to spread the message from your youtube channel for instance spread the message of your business and the solution that you're bringing to base use social media different social media platforms to reach out to your various audiences because there's a very large audience on social media and for free if you look at the social media population and you, and you want to read those amount of people you know, in real life it will cost you a lot of moving around gadgets and all of that to be able to get the attention but social media helps you get people's attention for almost free another reason i think you should do this is that you can do this to build your audience online first to be able to use social media first of all you must consider enough to build your brand consistently on that online space what do i mean by your brand give a name for yourself online your name might be your real name or the name that is in line with the, that solution that you're bringing so it's easy for people to identify you and then you have to be consistent with promoting that your product or your service targeting your audience so you have to call them out so if you're looking to edit for busy professionals or write for people you must use the words they are busy executives you know today is a good time to think about your book and source it to a company you know whatever you have to consistently call out your audience keep targeting them keep mentioning them using your post and your educational content another thing is that everything you post whether you're making a joke around what you do whether you're is providing inspiration tips tutorials educational posts you must end by linking your audience to your product it's called call to action call to action telling them to get your product you know what i mean so any style of content you use make sure that you're able to drive people towards your product after you're done on social media that's how to use social media also ensure that you don't give up looking at the numbers don't let numbers make you give up don't say oh i've been doing this night and day every day for three months and i've just grown only 100 subscribers extra or four more subscribers don't give up there are usually days that you are going to have a surge you're going to go viral your post is going to go viral or all that do not give up and that's how to start i know that doing this can feel like oh my god okay i already know how to do this but i need you to let me know in the comment section if you have gotten to this point what else is the challenges that you're having and i'm going to make another video to address that okay go and monetize your expertise because people desperately need the solution that you carry I'll talk to you again all right see you